Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Karnan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Kerr College of Engineering, Trichurapulli. This is another video lecture on the solution and discussion on the gate question paper in the subject Fluid Mechanics and Machines. And this is lecture number 68. The topic is Hydraulic Turbines, Part 3. We take few questions from the Hydraulic Turbines from the gate question paper and we discuss the answers. The first question from 1993 question paper, cavitation in hydro hydraulic reaction turbine is mostly most likely, likely to occur at the turbine. Which part of the turbine? Either it is entry, exit, shatter exit or rotor exit. So hydraulic reaction turbine, Pelton turbine and Francis turbine, they are the reaction turbine. Cavitation will occur. So cavitation is the formation of water bubble, air bubble in the flow of air. So, this is due to the uh, change in the temperature condition or pressure, pressure and temperature condition in the hydraulic turbine. So, normally in the hydraulic turbine, the cavitation will occur at the rotor exit, whereas in the centrifugal pump, it will occur at the entry where the pressure is very low. The next question from 2018 question. A test is conducted on one fifth scale model of Francis turbine under the head of 2 meter and the volumetric flow rate of 1 meter cube per second at the 450 rpm. Take the water acceleration due to gravity as 1000 kg per meter cube and 10 meter, meter by second square respectively. Assume no loss both in the model and the prototype of the turbine. The power in megawatt of the full scale full sized turbine that is prototype while working under the head of 30 meter. So, the we have to calculate the power of the prototype uh, for the given conditions. So, head of the model and uh, uh, volumetric flow rate of the model and uh, density wa water property acceleration due to gravity and uh, head of the prototype they are given. The answer to the question is 29.05 megawatt. So, the power developed by the prototype of the Francis turbine is 29.05 megawatt. We will see how in the next slide. The similarity between model and the prototype of a Francis turbine, power of the prototype divided by the power of the model equal to diameter ratio, diameter of the prototype divided by diameter of the model to the power 2 into head, head of the prototype divided by head of the model to the power 3 by 2. So, what is given in the uh, problem? The diameter, the scale ratio that is Diameter of the model to diameter of the prototype, it is 1 by 5, 1 fifth of the scale model. Acceleration due to gravity G uh, equal to 10 meter per second square and density equal to 1000 kg per meter cube. Head of the model is 2 meter, the head of the prototype is 30 meter, discharge equal to 1 meter cube per second of the model. We have to calculate the power of the prototype. Now, the power of the model we have to calculate, power of the model equal to rho g q m into h m, rho g q m into h m, 1000 into 10 into 1 into 2 is equal to 20,000 watts. Now, you substitute here from this equation. So, the power of the prototype equal to p m, power of the model into diameter ratio and the head ratio to the power 3 by 2, substitute the numerical value, power of the prototype equal to 20,000 into 5 square, dp by dm equal to 5. So, 5 to the power 2 multiplied by HP equal to 30, HM equal to 2 to the power 3 by 2. So, calculating it is 29.047 10 power 6 watts. So, this is equal to 29.05 megawatt. That is the answer to the problem. The next question from 2006 question paper. A large hydraulic turbine is to generate 300 kilowatt at 100 rpm under a head of 40 meter. For initial testing, a 1 is to 4 scale model of a turbine operate under a head of 10 meter. The power generated by the model in kilowatt will be, we have 4 options here. So, the correct option is 2.34 kilowatt. The power developed by the model is 2.34 kilowatt. So, we will see how, how in the next slide. So, for the prototype, it is given power of the prototype equal to 300 kilowatt. Speed is 1000 rpm. Head equal to so, 40 meter and the head of the model is 10 meter. The scale ratio is dm by dp equal to 1 by 4, 1 fourth of the scale, this is 0.25. So, doing the model analysis, power equal to rho g q into h, 
So we take power is proportional to because rho and g are constant. Discharge depends on the area and velocity. So discharge is replaced by area and velocity. Head is there. Again, power is proportional to area. It is pi by 4 d square. So with respect to diameter. So d square velocity, it is square root of 2 g h. So square root of h into h. So this equal to power equal to d square h to the power 1.5. Or we may rewrite as power divided by d square into h to the power 1.5 equal to constant. So applying to the equation for model and the prototype, p by d square h to the power 1.5 for the model equal to p by d square h to the power 1.5 for the prototype. So the power of the model equal to power of the prototype dm by dp whole square hm by hp to the power 1.5. So substitute power of the prototype equal to 300 kilowatt dm by dp equal to 0.25 hm equal to 10 and hp equal to 40 to the power 1.5. So this equal to 2.34 kilowatt. That is the answer to the question. Next question from gate 2007 question paper. A model of a hydraulic turbine tested at a head of one fourth of the ton, one fourth of the uh, size under the full scale turbine works. The diameter of the model is half of the full scale turbine. If n is as RPM, n is the RPM of the full scale turbine, then RPM, RPM of the model will be, we have four options here, n by 4, n by 2, n and 2n. Uh, normally, in the model analysis, turbine and the speed of the prototype and the speed of the model will be the same. The other other parameter uh, will be changing with respect to the scale ratio. Next question, 1996 question paper. Uh, in a hydro hydroelectric station, water is available at the rate of 175 meter cube per second under a head of 18 meter. The turbine runs at a speed of 150 rpm with the overall efficiency of 82 percentage. Find the number of turbines required if they have maximum specific speed of 460. So the given information is Q equal to 175 meter cube per second, N speed equal to 150 rpm, head equal to 18 meter, overall efficiency equal to 0 0.82 and the specific speed is 460. So power output of the turbine, so PO equal to eta O, overall efficiency into water power. So water power equal to rho G Q into H. So this is substituting numerical value 0.82 into 1000, density equal to 1000, acceleration due to gravity 9.81. Head discharge is given as 175 meter cube per second and the head equal to 18 meter. So, this is 25,830 kilowatt. Then specific speed of the turbine, N is equal to speed N into the N into square root of P divided by H to the power 5 by 4. So, 460 equal to 150 into square root of P divided by 18 to the power 5 by 4. So, solving the equation, the power equal to 12927.5, 12,927.5 kilowatt. That is then the number of turbine required, so n equal to overall power output divided by power output per turbine, this is 25,830 divided by 12,927.5 equal to 1.99 equal to 2. So for the given information, we require two hydraulic turbines, that is the answer to the question. The next question from 1997 question paper, a water turbine delivering 10 megawatt power is to be tested with the help of a geometrically similar 1 is to 8 model which runs at the same speed of the prototype. Find the power developed by the model, assuming the efficiency of the model and the prototype are equal. Find the ratio of heads and ratio of mass flow rate between the prototype and the model. So this is a, a question. Now we take the given data, power equal to, power of the prototype equal to 10 megawatt, scale 1 is to 8. Uh, the condition is Nm equal to Np. Uh, speed of the model is equal to speed of the prototype. So, geometry scale ratio dm by dp equal to 1 is to 8. So, 1 divided by 8. So, for nm equal to N, np. So, the model speed equal to prototype speed. So, the ratio, I mean the, for the relationship between model and the prototype. Power divided by n power 3 d power 5 of the model is equal to power divided by speed to the power 3 diameter to the power 5. So, for the same speed, p by d to the power 5 of the model is equal to p by d to the power 5 of the prototype. Now, we this is the equation in the previous slide. We rearrange. So, power of the model is equal to power of the prototype into dm by dp to the power 5. So, which is equal to 10 into 1 by 8 to the power 5 equal to 0 0.305 
megawatt. So power of the model equal to 0 0.305 megawatt. Then ratio of the head for the same speed, ratio of the head for the same speed, nm equal to np, the specific speed of the model is equal to specific speed of the prototype. So using the relationship nm square root of pm divided by hm to the power 5 by 4 equal to np square root of pp divided by hp to the power 5 by 4, nm and the nm equal to np. So simplifying hp by hm to the power 5 by 4 equal to pp by pm to the power 1 by 2. So, substituting HP by HM equal to PP by PM to the power 2 by 5, which is 10,000 divided by 0 0.305 to the power 2 by 5 equal to 64. The head ratio of the, with, with, for the prototype and the model is equal to 64. Similarly, ratio of the mass flow rate, MPM by MM, ma mass of the prototype divided by mass of the ma model equal to QP by QM. So, QP equal to uh, with, with it, it is changing with respect to speed and the diameter to the power 3. So, NP DP to the power 3 divided by NM DM to the power 3. So, again NP equal to NM. Uh, speed of the model is equal to speed of the prototype. Then the equation becomes DP to the power 3 divided by DM to the power 3. So, DP by DM equal to 8. So, 8 to the power 3 equal to 512. That is the answer. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and uh, you subscribe the YouTube channel and listen to the video lectures of all the subject for your better understanding the subject. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. So, if you have any questions, you write to my mail ID or WhatsApp number. I will answer to your question. So, we will see in another video lecture on the solution to the gate question paper. Until then, bye.